Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. After gracefully rappelling down the cliff, I welcome the sight of an actual road, the first sign of civilization. Daventry was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous fantastical floating island. Daventry was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous fantastical floating island. Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most. I could have sworn the Parade of Hopeful Nights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes at Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? That odd horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. Blazed a trail through the forest. I wondered what those birds 
needed a toolbox for. Shame. The only two left seemed to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. That wheel seemed freshly broken. It's just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like... No! Oh! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. Tell me, is it more of a... Ow! Or a... Oh! Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you... I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and... oftentimes delicious ingredients. Ah, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day, and just look at my little biscuits! <clears throat> well, now that I've molded over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material! Hey! Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait! You're stuck here with me. Every virgin is out, and my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine, strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, could you repeat that? Try to keep up, son. Bridges out, failed shortcut, flying rock, wheel broke, be a strapping lad, get tools, fix wagon, get a lift to the tournament! Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. Oh, can I pet your goats? Stay away from my majestic unicorns! Perhaps there was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. How did you get across that river? That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Ugh. Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. Kitty, kitty, not a kitty, not a kitty! Hmm. No wheels are there. Still no wheels. An overgrown patch of spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to the water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs>